Hey everyone, what's up, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be playing around with... Now, hold on a second. It's a palette. On the outside of the carton, it says, yes, please. But when I open it, it says, cute AF. I am confused. So I'm going to be playing around with the Yes Please Cute AF palette by Colourpop because I don't know which one it's called because it says both. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm assuming um, it's called the Yes Please palette because it's on the Unicarton and it's also on the back here. Um, but yeah. Let's get started. I'm going to first take the color, let's see, I'm gonna be taking, huh, I don't know. I'm, I'm really, really drawn to this yellow shade down here. That's why, I, that's actually literally why I bought it. Um, first, a huge shout out to Emily at Ulta for helping me pick this palette as the one that I'm going I was going to buy Thank you so much shout out to you. You're adorable. You have great eyebrows, and you're just adorable. So thank you um, I'm going to start off by taking this color Right here, and let me grab a fluffy blending brush and whoa this is like really powdery. I just gently swirled my brush into this and look. Whoa, okay. So be careful with this. Whoa! There's... I'm gonna have to clean my desk. I fell asleep at my desk last night. Um, this is, this is very powdery. Um, I'm going to start by fluffing this into the crease. Someone is calling me. I hear my phone vibrating. Hold on one second. Okay, I am back. It was a telemarketer call. So, yeah, like I said, it's a very, very powdery. I'm lightly dipping in to this palette. and it's like getting everywhere. Um, so be very careful. I'm taking this color still and blending it into the crease just as a transition shade. This is pretty. This is really, really pretty. Gorgeous, okay. Um, besides the fact that it's incredibly, incredibly dusty, it's not bad. Let me see how the um, more foiled shimmer shadows work. I'm gonna take this color right down here and put that on the lid before I go in I'm gonna put it on the outer part of the lid. Okay, this is not showing up. Let's try with a finger. Yeah, okay, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Let me get a, a closer mirror. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay. I'm not trying to like flip it, people off here. I'm sorry about that. Oh, 
All right, next I'm going to take the same flat brush that I took before, and I'm gonna go into the yellow color that I'm very, very excited about. And I'm going to place this where I did not place that, the other color. Ooh, yes, okay. Yes, I like this. And now I'm just gonna blend those all together. Cute, okay. Let me add a little bit of the dimension. I'm gonna take a MAC 224 brush and I'm going to, <laughs> I almost showed you guys the mirror. That's the wrong thing. Um, I'm gonna add a slight bit of dimension to the outer corner and I'm going to use this shade right here. Actually, I'm gonna use the color next to it. I'm gonna use this, because that stays with the color story, because I used this shade before. So that stays in the same color story. This one doesn't seem to be, I spoke too soon. I said this one doesn't seem to be too dusty, but it's, it's pretty dusty, guys. The payoff is great. Um, the shimmer shade has seemed to disappear. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a setting spray and I'm going to wet the brush a little bit. I'm gonna go back into that. This is weird. There we go, that's all it needed. And it is back. All right, so for the Lower lash line, I'm going to take a pencil brush from Morphe. This is a Morphe M43. Oh, I got a hiccup. M431. I'm like still blowing all the dust away from this palette. I could make a whole new eyeshadow. You can't, you can't really tell on the camera, but I'm going to take this shade. See? It's all right there. I'm going to take this shade again. And run it. Along the lower lash line. You know what? I should have set powder underneath my eye. That's okay. I'm gonna go back in with the color that I used on the outer corner. Boom. I think that's really pretty. I'm not gonna do any lashes or liner again um, in this video because I think that this alone is just really pretty and simple and quite easy. So I am going to um, do the other eye off of camera and then I need some highlighter. I need a little bit of highlighter, you know. Just a little something, and then I will be right back. Okay, so I kind of um, went a little overboard with the highlighter. I don't think there's such thing. I personally don't think. I used the Artist Couture highlighter in Coco Bling. Coco Bling, yes. Um, and that's it. That, I think that this is fine. I think leaving it just as simple as this is great. Oh, I forgot the nose. Is 
there we go and that's it thank you guys so much for tuning in I am super excited to keep creating videos and everything I know my backgrounds like a little boring right now I apologize um, I'm working on that I did have something hanging up here I did have something here and here But I took it all down. Um, and I just have these lights now. Pretty, right? Okay. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm gonna stop rambling and yeah, cause I sound stupid. So I hope you guys have a great day or night, whatever time it is that you are watching this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.